Hello, you lovely lot, and welcome to the beautiful Cudmore Cafe, because <laughs> the weather is horrendous, dear lad. We've had a big change of plan this morning, haven't we? Yes, we were going to go somewhere else, and we thought, oh, we'll go there, but then we thought, no, let's go to Cudmore in the cafe, because it's pouring down with rain, and we thought we'd do a podcast, it's a bit of a, a catch-up, mate, haven't we? That's because you've been fishing, haven't you? I've been doing winning, dear lad. What, you've got to wait until you've spoiled it? Spoiled it already? No, I've been doing winning. <laughs> <laughs> go on, then you start that in a bit. We're going to talk about campaign. We shot on it as well, look. Here's Rico, he's going to talk about this as well. We fished, we've got, it's been all about meddling, same as yes. always, on the lead up to the, on the Flyer Winter Classic final that we fish every year, yep, yep, which yep. is at Meadowlands. But before that, we fished Festival, I mean, well, Richard did. Well, you and Richard did, because <laughs> I was, was... Oh, posh skiing? I've been skiing, and uh, it went brilliantly, folks. Leave I had an story. amazing time. Leave that story, because that's later right, on. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's all part ahead. of it, part yeah. of the chaos. Go on, go on. So, yeah, we fished Festival, didn't we? The Meadowlands Silver Cup. We're going to yeah. say. I think that calls it silver. Silver, silver. silver. Yeah. Silver cup. We faced a two day festival at Medlands. Everyone was there, terrifying as usual, like beyond belief terrifying. Well, it, was it was everyone practicing for the final, wasn't it? That's what Pretty it turned much. into. Not so far off. Was yeah. it the same amount of anglers that, that were in the final then? 50? 50, 50 no, there were, I think there were three less. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think, there was I think Mike, Mikey wasn't Same there because he was still driving. He was still driving. Yeah, for the he'd fi- set off for the final. <laughs> he <laughs> left on the Monday to stand the ride. Yeah. Go on, Mikey. Yeah, but it was still 50 odd anglers, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, it was five sections of 10, pretty much. There might have been a couple of 11 peg sections, yeah. but pretty much five sections of 10, yeah. both lakes, Lambsdown and Warren. Warren, Warren. Warren. Yeah. One, one section on Warren there, quite a bit of space, and then two sections on the deeps, one on the pump bank, one on the whatever they call it. What do we call it? Uh, deeps, pump bank. and What's the other? Shallows, is it? I don't know. I thought they were all deep. No, no, deep. shallow on the other side. I think they call it the shallows. No, it's got another name, I think. Has it? This the, the causeway. grassy knoll bank. Grass. Anyway, far side, <laughs> far side, and the 50s, from 50 to 60 odd. That was another section over there, the shallow. Talk to me the weather though, didn't the weather have a change? Would it like Mad, proper? mad. First day on the Monday, it was summer. Was it really? Everyone Actual in t-shirts summer, and all that? I fished in a t-shirt all day. Flipping heck. You couldn't on the colder bits, we had a bit of breeze, but yeah. first day we both drawn, haven't we? I've drawn 15. 15 on the deeps. Yeah. Right, okay. Richard's drawn 46, so 45. One, one to the left of where you won it off the year before. 46, 46 you no, drew. Off. Alan drew 45, you drew 46. Oh, draw next to Alan. Alan? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, that, yeah, let's do that. Let's break down the matches quick because that's what, it's more of a catch-up, isn't it, than a podcasty type of thing. But yeah, first day I've drawn 15. Yeah. I'm going to say it's like the nicest peg on Netherlands. Is it's that like, where they've done that banking behind you now? They've dug it all out? So not quite, no. No, I'm just in the woods. So there's the slab that they call it, which are the best pegs, which right. are 16 to 20, pretty yeah. much. They're the deeps. They're the known deeps. 15's the first one in the woods, but it's got a massive big peg. Peg's like five times the size of this table. Oh, really? It's got like a platform. Oops. And I'm, because I'm the first one in the woods, you're so much further out than all them to your left. Oh, right, get you. So like my top kit's there, eight metre line. Oh, flipping it. So you just feel like invincible. You just feel like, yeah, I'm out here. Right, Do you get know what I mean? You, your peg's probably better than all them to your right yeah yeah because they're obviously they're going it does go a little bit shallow as you go to your right and yeah. then a lot shallower eventually i just felt like yeah this is amazing like just felt out and it was just that good <laughs> you know what i mean you're sitting on the Come peg and you think start. you've got such an advantage from where you sat and was it every peg there jake every single peg right okay yeah yeah, yeah. it was yeah. wasn't it it was t- it done it tight around there because one warren was fishing a bit dodgy before yeah he's took pegs off there put them onto that so it was tighter but it's worked out it was well hand. pegging wise yeah I think it was fair it wasn't it yeah it you was could win really off fair. warren you could win off the big lake overall yeah 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 but anyway best match ever what they end up with I was so 47 pounds set loads up as you normally I've do like up top kit and feeder no. ledger bombs have you done ledger bomb no rod don't have a rod of me pellets pellets long yeah. pellets short Oh, I, went, right, I went for let's it's gonna be carnage. So no natural baits anywhere. I had some casters, but I never fed one. I'll flip it the only out. place I right. fed casters is on my top kit. Oh right, okay. So I threw casters on my top kit, went on that, caught ten in ten chucks. This big. Little Bobby Rose. Instant, two skimmers and a carp. <gasps> flip it there. The carp were the thing the first day, weren't they? I don't know about your bank no, too I, much. I, I only up one. I, oh, I, man. Alan's had him descend on him at the end, but As they weren't silly. No. I, I've on his seen, lake and lean. I'd go as far to say two hundred carp have been hooked in my what? section. Oh, flipping it. Right, like, okay. Ben Ag had three in his first three drop in short. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I'm sure you heard about every single one. Oh, yeah, he let us know about it. He's not one for being quiet and not moaning, Ben, isn't he? He's very similar to myself. Oh, bless. But anyway, yeah, best day ever. 
Just amazing. Just, I fed five pints of four mils long through a catapult. Have you started, have you cut Marco's in? No, just, long, oh. just like blasted it with four mils. Just, you could tell it fit because I've caught 10 on my top kit. I've looked up and Matt Godfrey had two straight away on his pellets like this. I'm like, all oh, right, the feed in then. Oh, yeah. right, okay. So straight out there, caught one chuck. Oh. I should have caught, I should have won the match. Do you know what I mean? If it wasn't for carp, I've up 25 carp plus easy. Lame They're swirling with me four mils. So it was really, it wasn't really but warm then. I kept trying to catch big fish and that's the key thing at Medellin's is not to do that for four hours. Right, okay. Just shit back. Yeah, yeah. Just Everything is worth catch. catching, isn't it? There's yeah. no little fish. There's no little bobby ones. <laughs> you know what I mean? A little fish, it, or they are, but that's on maggots and casters. A little fish is three to a pound. Mm -hmm. You can give me that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skimmers? Them skimmers it is. Yeah, even two to a pound. That's what I mean, the, small, yeah. the smaller stamp you're going to get three to a pound. You just take your brain out and ship. Yeah. That's what you do. Be dead aggressive and you let the big stamp happen. You know I mean, on your long line, you catch them. Yes, you do catch them later on, but you catch them intermittently as well. You're like, they come when you're paying, you catch two, and then you back to little ones, and you've just got to, don't try and catch them. I kept trying to do that. Right. I kept yeah. trying to be selective. Right, okay. And I shouldn't have been. And then short, they arrive late on. You had a proper arrival? Corn. Not a proper arrival, no. I caught like, I probably had 15 pounds in the last half hour. Oh, well. But yeah. not many fish. Yeah. Like just six or seven fish. Yeah, waiting, big fish. Not even waiting though, because you get them all on the settle. If you wait, you catch right. a carp. Right. The literally your rig goes in, they watch it and it's just and it's on. But if it sits in and goes, then it's a ten pound carp on the end. Like ridiculous. We're at two tockets pulling that hard, but let's not talk about that. So <laughs> first day with Mega. Yeah. Should you do both? I'll do yeah. Do you, do you, do your first, first day. day. Mine was like opposite day, wasn't it? Obviously you've got <clears throat> where I was is a lot shallower. You're probably seven foot ish on the long line. Yeah, seven or eight foot. You were on forty six. Six. Yeah, and yeah. but it just keep it slopes off, doesn't it? So I've gone. But it's continuing this yeah. right, doesn't it? It's still going. Left. So I've I've gone a little bit further on my short line, sort of a top kit and what do they four or five sections? I want to say four. Yeah, so it was like just out of throwing range. Had to catch it, and that was the short line was good straight away. You could catch roach, odd mm -hmm. little skimmers, but bites all the time on it. Yeah. Um, what, what have you done on a short line? What have you fed? Um, you just cast the root. Yeah, just gone straight on it straight away. So I've fed like a little like nugget of gra uh, crush, crush expander. No, it was F1, wasn't it? Yeah, Maybe? so it binds a bit more. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Um, with some casters and stuff, and just done that. Went on that straight away, and you're getting bites from the off. Had you put pellets out long? For it, yeah, like, I'd yeah. done. I'd done like a pellet line, expecting yeah. to catch some better ones, and that was probably my mistake. Because well, I kept trying to make that work and kept having a look. I've wasted time on there. Yeah. Um, because I think Sean Ashby, he's just fished for Littlands all day. Um, he, Where was he? He was 42, to Alan's 43. right. 43. What was he to? Very next one, pen to Alan. Were? No, no, every peg in the festival. Yeah, 43 oh, was it every peg or 44. On? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Um, he's fished for Little Fish all day. He's been second in section. Yes. And I think I was like uh, three pound behind him in the end. So I think if I'd have just got my head down close, and it? fished for Little Fish, but you don't know that's going to be the match before you start. So... Yeah. Definitely should have been second in section. Lee Wright's won it on the end. He's caught some forty pound bigger. No, Sean was third in section, wasn't he? Sean, Sean was third, and yeah. I was kidding on the end was second. Yeah, Lee Wright was one off the end. He was what low forties, forty one. Yeah. Was the end yeah. bag? Yeah, yeah. And oh, they, right, okay. they've not caught. It's, this is the thing with medlands. How where you are dictates the match of fish because he's fished a nice, patient match. I think he's pretty much fished corn all day. Yeah, he's not had loads of bites, but he's caught big ones. Mm. Right, where. Obviously, round us, it's just been little fish and it's been get your head down, yeah. catch them. Fish what kind of weights have you had then? So, you won your section the first. I won my section with 47 pounds. Oh, lovely. I think I was about, hmm, hmm, good bit of the batch. Yeah. Right, okay. It's, been, it's, been, it's, it's well. still been good round us. I think Sean had, I'll put it on screen because I won't remember. Thir I think Sean had 37. Yeah. I'll, I'll have had that. 35, and then I think Alan was like a pound behind, like 34. Yeah. So, it's been like. What, what did Lee win it with? Rick? 40. Forty pound, maybe forty one. Like forty one, I think. Oh, so it was close. So it is yeah. as a section. I think that was probably the fairest one that day. Amazing venue, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. Right. Yeah. So yeah, it's probably the fairest. I'm yeah, that. but I, yeah, fourth. I was like, I'm probably out of it. I probably yeah. There's two I bigger think, standard of field. Would you snuck in with five points in the end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I, you got I, in with six points. Tyler was last in with six wasn't. points. Yeah. So yeah. it wasn't wasn't a good start, but. We were like, Not if we win a section the next day, it was half a chance. But well, there's still the winner to pay for as well because yeah. Gaz pays the biggest weight. Oh, right, okay. yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I think Tyler got like 500 quid for the biggest weight. That, that was my mentality, wasn't it? I was like, Just go I'm going to go catch the biggest you, weight, draw some Tim's of meat. He made me bring me meat cutter the next day. I was yeah. like, I'm going to draw an absolute screamer. 
yeah. catch like 60 pound and win a few quid that way. Like, and I didn't. Oh, no, you I drew shit. horrific. So, well, the, so what were the conditions like on the first day? They were all like, were, beautiful, yeah. flat were calm. You, well, it was flat calm where you were. It was still calm oh, though, so wasn't the wind, it? Wind had changed around completely and it was yeah, all right. There wasn't okay. any wind, was there? No one struggled to hold no, the pole on the first day. you could fish at 40 metres and right. just comfortably. Yeah, no one was screaming. It was so the what, second day. So on to day two then. So you had a fourth in section, you won in section. Yes. Right, okay. Day two then. Where were we horrible, doing? Horrible. I drew peg 47 on Lansdowne. 47, 47. All oh, right, okay. Go I had two 47 on Lansdowne. Section he'd been in. So obviously yeah. next peg to where, yeah, yeah. Next peg to where you've been in, so yeah. I put sound. But the wind were... Biblical. So how was the wind? Is it like in straight at you? In my face. Right, okay. And right. it's it wasn't meant too bad to start with. It was fishable, wasn't it, to start with? You, Rich has drawn opposite. You've drawn special, haven't you? Red. On Dez Yeah. Following Dez anywhere is never good. Oh, right, okay. No. What Alan on that in the... Right. Not end peg. I think you were on 28. Yeah, I think Alan was one Alan was to the 29. Left. Right, okay. Horrendous. For some reason, it's weird, isn't it? Like, two pegs to your right is well, lovely where it it's a bit deeper and flatter. Deepens off, doesn't it? Yeah. And then as soon as you get like 26, 27, 28... Your pole line's never... In the winter, it doesn't seem Some, good, does it? Uh, there was a chap talking to us who fish... Met, uh, he, I can't remember his name. He fishes there a lot. And he was on about how the contours of the lake affect yeah. how it tows. And it was on the final, sort of going forward but not spoiling it. Yeah. I was next to Tom. And his my toe was going left to right. Tom was on the very next peg and his peg's going right to left. Yeah. What? But they like, changed there. That's where the step is in between yeah. you. But we'll talk like about that in a minute. Weird. Yeah. Right. Don't know about that in a minute, but anyway, yeah. So second day, yeah, ridiculous, like horrible. Honest, the waves were going under my pallet, hitting the <laughs> bank, and splashing me back. <laughs> oh, that's just going down your neck. That's how windy it was, <laughs> wasn't it? It just oh, became. Bum, so well, have you set a ledger bomb up then? I've, I've got, got off my box. No, I didn't yeah. get off my box. I set it up. I'm right, okay. fishing a feeder. Don't like fishing a feeder round. Just feel it's luck. Yeah. And it went round a few times. There's not even way of talking about the match because yeah. baggers took it out our section. Twenty nine pound. He was on, what was I on? 47, 48, 49. Right, okay. And what's 49, he done? Just got his head peg. down and fished. He's just fished for a roach. A lot of roach lived towards that end. Right, okay. So he's took a gamble. Shallower, isn't he? Just because shallower to Yeah, yeah. Right. Baggers took the gamble and knew that that's all his peg could do. Yeah. yeah. And got job done. I think that is Walked a big, big lesson, especially on big venues like that, fishing to the conditions. Yeah, huge. Because I think you've probably done similar way. You've tried to fish a pole and it's not been yeah. right. Wasted three hours for three pounds I've done fish. it when... It was wrong. I should have committed to a feeder. Sean's fished a feeder match next to us to my right. Yeah. And it's been steady. And I, I've flitted around. I've tried to do like fish for roach for a bit and then thought, oh, I'm falling behind a bit. So I tried to catch bigger fish on pallets, couldn't hold a pole. And then yeah. I was. Yeah, you've got, got up arse, and you? It was either side's done it right. Sean's committed to a feeder match or he, like half an hour in, he's committed to a feeder match. It's like not going anywhere. Yeah. Like to my left, he's done mega. He's. I think he ends up third in section, which I think Just is about for roach. yeah, it's about as good as you can do from there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm having that. Um, and yeah, I'll flip between it and not achieve anything. It's when you knowledge that in it, and yeah, being stubborn. Yeah, it's committing to like reading, knowing that you need to do different things if it's going to be blowing a gale. Yeah, especially when it's for points. Yeah, yeah. it's different. It's not about winning. Mm. It's doing the best you can. Yeah, and it yeah, massively yeah. cost well, me like so. What I end up with, fifteen, fourteen. Cop. Oh no. 15, 14, and that was fifth in my section. But then there was a 16 pound four, Fozzy. Coxie had 17 pound. Then there was an 18 pound, and then Bagger walked it. So I needed 18 pound. And then you would another two pound, two ounce. I only needed, I only needed 16 pound to get in. If I'd have beat Fozzy, I'd have got in. Right, okay. Yeah, if I'd have come, if I'd have come second in my section with 18 pound, I'd have been fourth overall in the festival. Really? Yeah, because I'd have Not had, LJ. Right. I'd have had three points, the same as the other lads, but yeah. I'd have had the lowest weight. Right, okay, yeah. But, but that, that's so a common, close, isn't it? It's a common theme there, isn't it? Like a few that's ounces it. either way is ridiculous yeah. on that, and that especially in the is, final it? as well. Yeah, um, we'll come into that. So anyway, festival was uh, brilliant. So, but, no. How did you do second day overall then, Rich? I, no. I didn't even weigh in. Oh. I, that was how, I've ended up, I gave up in the end. I was like, you I chuck, chucked a method over my pellet line. I've had a couple of better skimmers, but... It wasn't quick enough, it wasn't good enough, and I was no. too far behind. You didn't so. chop your meat cock up. <laughs> the no. meat would have been in my peg if he'd have found it. Oh, All right, okay. Well, <laughs> it would have actually been in my peg. <laughs> Put it at the bottom, it would have been closer to me than him. Oh, Definitely. Yeah. yeah, meat was no, no. But anyway, so yeah, festival was great. Who won festival? Waco? No, no Lee, 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 Lee Kerry. Lee Kerry won festival. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't remember. Who I'm going to say Lee. Lee, Lee Waco, right. and Lee. Yeah. Am I right with that? Possibly. Lee Rock. 
I thought it was them three, wasn't it? Lee Wright, Lee yeah. Kerry, and Wake Hill. Young and Tyler Hill. snuck in in yeah, the last Lee. place. He's won the match on the second day, hasn't he? Off Warren. From yeah. Warren, yeah. Who was the first one? Lee, it was Lee Kerry, Adam Wakelin, Lee Wright. They were the top three. Then Bagger was fourth. All right. Okay. No, no. Steve Seaborn was fourth. Oh, yeah, because he, he won the match way, first day. Then yeah. Bagger right. was fifth. But both days, the weights were good, weren't they? It was like a £50 winning weight, 55 you know I mean, there's 55, 254. So yeah, yeah, 55 yeah. was the weight. And then there was always four or five forties after it. Weights. Were they on the second day? A mm, bit lower. A bit lower, wasn't it? Just because of conditions, you think? Yeah, Tyler was a proper standout one, in fact. Yeah, Where was I don't it? think there was a 40 pound second day. Yeah, I think Tyler's had the nice sheltered peg, hasn't he? Where he, he like can't fit. Lee, Lee had 40 18. pound second day. He was on 27, Warren. Right, Tyler. Yeah, yeah. Lee had, I'm sure Lee had 41. I think there was a 40. Yeah. All off Warren. I'll stick it all on screen anyway. I think. What, second day, what was best on our leg? I'm going to say Waco. £30. Yeah. And where would he have been? He won a section. He was in the deeps. I'm not sure where he was. I think he was on 18 or around there. Oh, 18, right. 19, 20. Yeah. Somewhere there. I'm sure Waco have won the leg with £30. So it showed the difference the conditions yeah, made to the weights on the big leg. Yeah. Which is where everyone thought the winner would come from in the final as well, isn't it? Just because the stamp of fish. Yeah. I mean, Warren had burst into life though, and it made it. Mm. Yeah, happy to draw even, isn't it? At the draw, we wanted to be on Warren. Yeah, I, I, I definitely. I you wanted to be, didn't you? Well, I think that's mm. probably more just because it suits the fishing I do more. It is, but I still felt it produced the winner. Yeah, you'd have thought mm. how it fished on the second day where Tyler's caught. What did yeah, you catch in the end? For Tyler. Fifty pound, was it? Tyler was fifty-five pound. Yeah. Fifty-five, wasn't it? Yeah. Walked it, but wait. very different conditions. When Tyler was on it, Wim was on his back on twenty-seven. All oh, right. Okay. So it was the comfiest peg on the planet. Whereas the final, it had been the final had an so. easterly. Oh yeah. It didn't look as nice. I was amazed when I came to see you. Yeah. How Warren had caught the wind. All oh, right. Okay. I mean, it was a lot windier than I expected was it, it to have been. All oh, right. So I think I'd have, I'd have, the only pegs I'd have wanted on Warren are like, is it sixteen and eighteen? Yeah. On the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. They'd mean. have been. The best pegs Proper. to fish on that lake, yeah. Like it, yeah. Not to the left of that, it goes a bit pongy in the other look. But anyway, so on to the final. Yes. And you rocked up, willy nilly. Can, can uh, we have the backstory? Right, so let's have the backstory. Now, this might just be a podcast on its own because it's going to take some time. So, quick version. Go on. The reason I didn't fish. Th- All right, Taylor, quick I don't t- want to do a long <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's a blooming long story. I will be here for hours. Uh, so, the reason I didn't fish the medal and silver classic cup was because I was on a holiday skiing. Um, so I've never done skiing before ever, we've had a few lessons in this side and the other. So we went to Chamonix, always going amazing, having a brilliant time, having a few cheeky beers at night time, amazing food, amazing skiing, and then we get to the last day. Uh, <laughs> now all week I'd been failing on the ski lifts, yeah, kept falling over, couldn't do it, and this one time uh, I managed it. Me and Bob, me and Lou, me, my wife saying, right, we'll have one more run, uh, and then that's it, we'll call it Dave, had a brilliant week. That was the last run for the week. We're going to do one last run for the week. Now, I've been building up inside myself, like with these blooming ski lifts. Right, come on, Andrew. I've I've, I've totted every single one. I'd managed to land three, but fell over nine times. So not the actual skiing, just the ski lift? The ski lift. Now, much to the amusement of me, uh, both my kids, Ollie and Leah, (laughs) and my nieces, uh, Harry and Bobby. So, uh, it's coming up, it's coming up, the ski lift. I got off it, and I give it a big cheer. The kids are laughing their heads off, and then I just heard this almighty scream behind me. Look behind me, and like the kids' faces just went white. Lou had uh, heard this like popping sound. So I think they're squirming about it now. So Lou had done a leg. She broke a leg basically. So they stopped Coming, getting off the lift. Getting off the lift. So not even skiing, just getting off the lift. Uh, a ski. She caught a ski under her other ski. This leg had come around there and like it snapped. Um, so obviously they stopped the ski lift and called the yeah called the ambulance, the paramedics, whatever they are. So they come up in a skidoo with like a little tent on the back. Sorted her leg out, uh, she was in a bit of agony, obviously by now, she'd gone white, she didn't know what was happening. Uh, put her onto the back of this skidoo. Um, I had to obviously go to hospital with her, well everyone else, you know, all the rest of the family got all our skis. And then they started the ski lift up again, and then another woman coming off, she broke her leg. So I'm like, <laughs> what being there? what's going on? So anyway, so we went straight to the hospital in France. Uh, this was like half three in the afternoon. We got there about half four, and then we were there till sort of like half eight at night time. They were brilliant, yeah, so good. So they sorted her out, did x-rays and all that. Uh, so she's got a leg in a brace by now, got crutches, never used crutches before. <laughs> so I'm like, and they're like, crutches, normally go under your arms, don't they? And they give me one of them, but these are like, they're sort of here, the end there on your arm. 
So yeah. like, it took her ages to work out how to use them. So we got her back to the lodge. I had to do all the bloody packing because we were going to pack the last day. So I did all that. And then the next challenge for us was the flight back home because I didn't realise, obviously, we just booked normal seats, but we need extra leg yeah. You were meant to get home dinner time, Saturday Yeah, morning. so our flight was half 11 on the Saturday, obviously, for the match. That's why we cut it short. Uh, but we couldn't get a flight because we needed extra leg room, so we managed to get one at half six. So we landed into Manchester about half past eight at night. We had to go straight to the hospital, late in hospital, uh, where, they, again, the doctors have done an amazing job. They basically just ignored everything the French doctors said. Have they? Saying, yeah, they're, they're in the again. dark ages. <laughs> x-rays, we don't use x-rays. So they did that, did an MRI scan, but because Louise's leg had swelled so much, they couldn't do anything. So it was still in this brace. Uh, obviously, proper painkillers, they were amazing. Have they? Uh, so we got her back home, like, I don't know, I think I got back at like 20 past 12 at midnight. Still had to go to a lockup because our house is getting uh, renovated at the minute, so I had to go and get all my gear. I never thought of this. Yeah, I had to go and get all my gear out of this lockup, which is like, it's only five minutes drive away, but I don't know what the farmer thought when I was like rocking up, like floodlights going off. Yeah, van at 12 yeah. o'clock by the lockups. So I put all my gear in, this, that, and the other, and I couldn't sleep because obviously adrenaline limb was going. Lou was fast asleep on her tablet, so I'm like, yeah, at least you're getting to sleep. Yeah. Um, and then I was away for, I think it was about half five in the morning or something like that, I set off. You know, oh, it had to be early, yeah. Gaz makes it. Yeah, Gas. so we, we had a we had eight o'clock draw, in it. So I've done thing. my leg in a bit, but I'm not saying anything about axing because yeah. I lose. Uh, and then yeah, so we're going from there. So I drew peg. Where did I draw? Peg forty seven. Your peg from peg the, had been on, on the, the second day. Yeah. But the wind had changed, and apparently, like some of the locals, Jack Harness come round, Jay, and he said the wind hardly ever goes like that way. It's, the, it's a northeasterly. That same for you the exactly year. Exactly the same it was the previous year. Yeah, so Jay had drawn. Peg 45, uh, obviously, the year before. Yeah. Uh, so 47, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, that'll do. That'll be right. I thought I'd want to be on Warren, but I didn't know. And Lee Wright was next to me on 46, and he's like, oh, yeah, get ready. We've got a right chance here. Yeah. So instant, like, confidence is going. Uh, and obviously, you'd, you'd tell them what to do. They'd done all my baits. Can't thank Jay. All and my bait. Me, all <laughs> my bait. Like, done my pellets. Got my casters, my maggots, everything. Did my ground bait up. Went and plumbed me. Uh, in fact, I did a rig up. I did make a rig up for my long line. Uh, because I only had gram and gram and a half, and Jay lad saying no, he needs a point seven five. Yeah. So I made one up on the bank because we had loads of time to set up, much to Lee, uh, Lee's amusement. Uh, so I sorted that out. Then I did a short line. Now my short line, I haven't spoke to you and Rich. You both yeah. said do two and three. Yeah. So I did do two and three, and I got like five foot, which is what he wanted. Uh, yeah. But Lee Lee plumbed up at eleven meters, and Richie Reynolds plumbed up at eleven meters. I didn't think much of it at the start. Yeah. Um, but starting off wise, I've gone out, put a big pot in, micros, 150 mil. Or on your long line. On my long line with some corn in. And I've obviously dampened the uh, four mils down. And then I put two two sort of like nice um, balls in short, cheeky, mm. of super sweet and Thatcher's green Did with you? loads of maggots and casters in. Sort of like studies. This your roach. Yeah, two sort of like, uh, like that. But I've done them on me, top kit and free. So I've started off there, put some casters in. I'm not getting a bite. And now Lee's catching one of short, Richie's catching yeah. one of short. So I'm like Instant. 20 minutes in. No, I need to go further. So I've got another section out, gone to plumb it, and my float was like that eight inches, 10 inches off my pole tip. I'm like, no, I'm going to have to add some line. So I added some line on, make it a little bit longer. What, what have you had for that? Four 16s? Four 14s. Just four 14s, number 10s, and then number 9s. It was yeah. beautiful as it was coming in. Uh, so I've got to put a ball there whilst I tied a bit of line on, thinking, right, I'm, I'm miles behind now. And then... From that point, it was one a chuck. I've had a bite of chuck all day. Was from it that a point. metre further or metre just and a half meter further? further. And it was like eight inches deeper. That was it. Just with it being flat, maybe they wouldn't come a bit closer. Possibly. But so it's top... quite clear still, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's pretty clear. It's just uh, hanging a little bit down. Because it doesn't, it's not like there's a steep drop off. It's just. No, it's weird. It's when that you go all the way, isn't it? It's sort of like you plummet like a foot to your, to your left because it's going shallower. But it was only coming up like an inch or two. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah, to your peg, it goes left. At... Shallower to your left, doesn't it? And it drops that yeah. way. But it also goes that way a bit. Yeah, it goes going down. So a bit. it's quite a tricky. You've got the best of both because obviously you can swing it out to the right if you wanted to. So it's coming in nice and that so you can flick it out. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so I've had a mint. I, I, I've always got him in the back of my head. Um, <laughs> Andrew, lovely days fishing, win that fall. Get on them skimmers. And honestly, folks, I could have stayed on that short line and had a bite of chuck all day and caught like 30 pounds, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, it's brilliant. I was giving it double pouches of casters, catching loads, hooking a little worm head or, uh, or a maggot. It was brilliant. Right. Little baby skimmers and roach. The first time I went out to 40 and a half was after 90 minutes. So you, uh, left, least, you, you only fed it once at the start as well? Just fed it once, but I've been pinging like a dozen. Oh, IG, you still loose fed though? Yeah. Right. Uh, Lee was still on his 11 metre line, so was Richie. I think we were all waiting for the first to make yeah. the move. I thought, right, let's get on it. Let's have a go. Because I knew it was solid there. I knew we could come back on it. 
And I've had, I've had like a pound, pound and a quarter one straight away. I'm like, right, get ready, boys. Lee's instantly come back, gone out long. I've gone out again and it was weird. I followed up one, then I had another liner. So I thought, no, it's not right, this. So I went in with another big pot of Micros, put them Gotta in, put them come down. back on my short line again. Yeah. And I probably spent another half an hour on my short line, probably put another six, seven, eight pound in the net. It was solid. Loads of brilliant, mate. And then when I've gone back the second time, that's when it started getting going. Yeah. So for an hour then, I was catching like four to sort of like 12 ounce, maybe a pound skimmers. Yeah. Lovely the, the fishing. average two to a pound, don't they? Oh, it's beautiful. So good. You haven't, maybe Took a bit, a bit of working bigger. out with the feeding, you know, whether I was, the best in the end was uh, a full, small toss pot of micros for every two fish and then just pinging a few. Mm. But then coming into the last hour, by far best was uh, a pot every go, but fishing like my little babby extension past. Just past your bait, yeah. Kept trying I think that's where your bait ends up though, because of the yeah, contours. because of the contours. I think it's a massive spread. Yeah. You know what I mean? It probably goes two meters past where you're feeding it because of that. There's probably a bit of toe. Where was your toe going? Wasn't really any toe. If it anything, quite slightly nice. to the left, but the wind was sort of right off my back. It wasn't bouncing back or anything no. like that. No, it's just coming in lovely. It's weird, isn't it? If Chester Lake goes clear, that'd be a good one to look at underwater. Oh, right, underwater yeah. one. Yeah, for the contours of it. It doesn't go clear, though, so that was irrelevant. Did it? No, it did. It was not in yeah. the winter. It stays chocolate, doesn't it? Oh, no, it does go a bit clear. Yeah, I could see my net. Oh. Yeah, pull for does oh, really? that first yeah. lake. Yeah, you could see your nets in like three, four foot. Yeah, I'll see what hell. the contours do. Yeah. Anyway, go on. <laughs> so long line. Uh, so yeah, long line was meant. I just stayed on that, kept feeding my short line, ran out of casters with about 40 minutes to go. Did you? Yeah, bites. so I'm like, started feeding maggots, but I didn't have to go back on it, to be fair. Didn't you? Uh, no, it's just, it was nice, steady away. You'd wait a little bit longer. Only up one carp all day as well. The carp mm. weren't a problem. Uh, and it was just lovely fishing. Um, yeah, yeah, no big ones in it. That was what surprised didn't have any, me. Yeah, didn't Nothing bigger than a pound and a half. No, no, but they're, like, they're all, they, they weigh up, don't they? Add you know what I mean? and skimmers are like, they're different, they're not them leafy, shallow no. commercial skimmers, they're little. They're mm. not like pellets and they just eat I meat. think it's, it's venues it? that get left alone by silver anglers in the summer, where it's like carpy venues with silvers in. Yeah. They always seem dead healthy. Yeah. Because they get it's that a big, big old break. venue as yeah, well. Yeah, they get they? that break yeah. in the summer. They can eat pellets whenever they want. Yeah. Because they get a lot anglers. of bait to eat. Yeah. And that it's seems like Boston, to, isn't it? Yeah, it seems to do them good, doesn't it? You've got the two yeah. parts to your fishery and yeah, proper yeah. neglect in the yeah. summer, just. Yeah, definitely. It is, but it is. It's such a good place. And... I loved it. Should we, should we, yeah, it was go weird, back, like, wrap obviously, it all up so, quick. like, uh, yeah, at the end, like... Because Gaz, you know, Gaz is like, come and see you, yeah, you don't, you're winning. <laughs> and then someone else coming, yeah, you're winning, but... You don't listen to Gaz. Yeah, you don't listen to your weights either. No. Yeah, you don't listen well, to that's the either, thing, yeah. like, Jay's not rang me up. and like, no, me ring me, have you got on? And, like, Rich hasn't rang me. He's like, no, I'm not ringing him, because he wouldn't have a clue what he's got on. I generally thought, I didn't have a clue what he had. Lee, I th I thought it'd be close between me and Lee. Lee said he'd like £30 and I'd £5 more yeah. than him. I'm like, yeah, I'll take that. Lee, oh, yeah. Lee was bang on on how far ahead you were. Yeah. Were. No, he wasn't. No, he's, yeah. yeah, he doubled that. He only yeah, had £10 more than Lee. Did you? Mm. Yeah. Well, you have had £10 more than Lee. So you're yeah, both, to... both useless. Both useless. useless. <laughs> well, he's much better than me. So I generally thought I'd £25, £30. I've not a clue, folks. I've never have had. Um, but then obviously when Waco was waiting 43, we both said, yeah, we've not got that. Mm. Did obviously, you? Come, yeah, definitely. You'd found out what Waco had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out, not no, got forty pounds. No, we've not got forty pounds. But obviously, the scales have gone gone to Warren first, haven't they? Then come back to us. Oh yeah, yeah. And then Lee's weighed in thirty five pounds. He looked at me like, "You'll have forty pounds, so you'll be second. And then obviously, put me fish on. They've gone like forty five. I'm like, like, "What is you, going on?" You clip as soon as you pulled the net out. You oh yeah, like, I knew. did you? Yeah. You're like, "Oh, this is I a said, bit close." No, it's not enough. I'm like, "Oh yeah, there is. Get ready." <laughs> did you? Yeah. When you know, like, you're like, "Oh yeah, oh, right." I might need two hands. No. Uh, so like they've gone in, obviously 45-4 I think I've had, um, and then I, I get so nervous when you're in front and there's people left to weigh in. I didn't expect you to be like that. Oh, it does me head in. Did you? They go, you, you said it went weird. I wasn't like, around it. I hate it. Wouldn't I even feel sick. Because we, rather than walk around, we just got the live feed up on my phone. Yeah, yeah. And you, you were like refusing it. to watch no. it. You were like, oh, I feel sick. I'm no, like, that was job done. When you weighed that, that was done. I know, but I didn't right. know. And then obviously when you come round just before Rob weighed, he's like, yeah, he's definitely not got that. I'm like, oh, it made me feel yeah. a little bit better. But you don't know, do you, in fishing until it's confirmed. you know what I mean? Yeah. Because uh, there's people catch, obviously, fish all over the place that you're not necessarily seeing. Especially um, there. Oh, yeah. Well, we didn't, like, Waco, we thought he'd 30, 35 pounds because he was in me. Rich was my marker. And I got, what did you think Waco had at the end before you'd weighed in? Don't know. I did think... you feel he had 40 pounds? I, kn I thought he... I said he was seven to eight pound ahead of us, which was probably not. You felt far. you had thirty odd. Yeah, I knew I had over thirty in my head. I didn't. Yeah. I wasn't that accurate knowing because it was a weird match as well. Um, 
Should we? I'll, yeah, go on. Yeah, talk through yours. Then talk through you, lads. Obviously, drawn in the deeps on peg... 18. 19. 19. 19. Something happens here. Let's talk about that first. Because I remember Steve Forster won off your peg and angling... Yeah, he did. Trust. That's yeah. when I bowled it in, wasn't it? And <laughs> Fingy was next to him. Um, Galley. Mike Gallimore. Yeah, yeah. Was next and to him on 20. Him and they had exactly ball. what you yeah. said. There's, I think there's a slopes, step in between the yeah, two or something. I've, someone told us this what, after... Just right shallow or something? Yeah. It steps up to on my left. I've, to your left. I've found this out after the match, but that, apparently that's where a lot of bait up, and stuff seems to collect. Up. Yeah. When it's blowing in certain directions. So. Yeah. If it toes to your right... To, yeah, if it toes from right to left, yeah. the bait accumulates in the fish yeah. do as well. Mine was towing. It, steps. it was towing the other way that day. Because yeah. was mine, mine was going right way. to left with the wind. And Yours top, was going right no, back left against to right. The wind. Yeah. yeah, mine was going back to the wind. Yeah, and then Tom's, and Tom's was bouncing. Yeah. So it's it? dead weird. Like That's weird. literally, because I could with a top four, I could touch Tom if I needed to. Yeah. <laughs> whip him. Um <laughs> He'd love that. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> Wait, the, box. <laughs> if you're if you've got every peg at Medlands, if you're next to a left hander, yeah, what do you do? You're all together, right? Yeah, <laughs> your top kids are just like all together. Carnage. Um but yeah, yeah. He, he's obviously had the toe going the other way. Um but I've had a Waco on the other side, which isn't ideal. No. Um I'm sure Waco No, I don't I can't remember what peg he was on on the Tuesday, but he was in that area, yeah. wasn't he? So he well, knew what to expect. And if he might have been on the fish aggressive, does he wake up? Yeah, well he builds it up over time. It's not like from the start of the match, he's rafting in four mils. He starts off quite delicately and just builds it and builds it and yeah, builds yeah. it. Yeah, he um, knows he's fishing for 40 pounds. Yeah, but he... So it's... I was definitely ahead because I've had a... I've started short, which hasn't been great. He's got a head on little fish. How weird was that? How poo short was this time? But it was good where like we you were bites. in the shallow. Did you not? No. It was almost like the roach and stuff wanted to be in that shallower well, water, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, in I the think that's bit. worth mentioning. I've had a spare peg as well and you said you didn't have that in silver cup. No, I don't know. was out. Well, yeah. was, Last year when I was on it, it was, too, yeah. It was I don't know why bank, it was too missed one on that bank. We spread it out a bit more, but yeah, it was lovely. It's well, it is. Yeah, so short wasn't great. Waco's got ahead, dead quick and everything. You start long, Waco? No, he started short. He's done the same Cold match as, as well. Bennett's done. Yeah. Um, and you could tell, it was one of those, you, you saying the same thing where everyone's waiting for someone to make the move first. Yeah. And you could tell, you could tell Waco's like, I want to go, I want to go. I'm just gonna, yeah. No, he was just chilled. Yeah, he was like, I'm going to tick over until someone starts catching. I think I've gone out and. I had one straight away, like pound and a half, right. and then that it was like one fish, and then it went dead for a bit. So I've come back short. I could see you catching because I was you and my marker. But then mm. I've got, gone out again, and it's I've had a run probably two hours in, like catching. Must have had like four or five These pound and a half, pound. two pounders. Yeah. And I've got got ahead of everyone then, um, but it was ticking over quite nice. Smaller fish after that, but then as that wind's picked up. I've had a gram long, which was all right at the start. Yeah. And then it started Deep towing a bit well. too what much. What have you got there? 12 foot. Yeah. Is so, it past your top four? No. Well, my top kits are about 18 foot long, aren't they? Yeah. Was it only just on your top four then? No, no. It was, was it comfy probably on It was like 14 foot. 12. I, think I had nearly 14 foot on 15. Did I you? think yeah. that's the deepest peg. Oh, I think right. it goes up either yeah. side. Right. Um, mm. But yeah, w once it started towing, it should come funny. And that's the point I should have either had another rig set up or gone and set up a heavier rig because Waco's had, I think he's fished a gram and a half and I it's just long. held a little bit nicer. Obviously, it's still towing through, but you could hold it back a bit more. He's got a head in that last bit and that's cost... Well, no, everything's cost us because it's ended up the tight, yeah, how tight on. it was in the end because I think it was um, Steve, Steve Forster, Forster was six, third with 36 dead. dead. So he's had 36 dead. 35, 14. Matt has had 35, 14, and I've had 35, 12. 12. Yeah. And yeah, the annoying thing, everyone's going to have a story like this, I'm sure. And what's yeah. your last bit? He had 35, 35 dead. dead. Yeah. So I've and had. Lee, right at 35. 35 yeah. I think Sean was a couple of months ahead of. Oh, was it? Might have been 35, 2 and 35. Dead. Yeah, they were, but, the, but a lot I'd, of people in 35. <laughs> like when you look back, I've had a two ounce. Well, a roach that I've dropped and because your platform's underwater, it's gone through the hole in my foot plate. Yeah, it's gone. Sat there for a bit and then swam off and I was like, that that was definitely two ounce, so that's 500 quid or whatever. Yeah. And then I've had a skimmer that's like pinged off. I've had it on the what rim of my... What did you do to it, Rich? <laughs> it was on, on the rim of my landing net. You're going to say you it. <laughs> it was balancing Tight. on and then it's like <laughs> flopped over the other side with like eight, ten ounce skimmer, something like oh, that. Oh, bloody hell. Prop, then, like... That's 1,500 quid, just gone. That skimmer was 1,500 quid. But... I don't, yeah, I don't mind Matty because we swapped positions last year, didn't we? Yeah. I was you, fourth, you were, he was fifth. Yeah. He's, I, I've got worse, he's improved. Yeah. 
And mm -hmm. what about you, Jill? You, you were close. You had thirty pound, didn't you? Blooming, you were close. I had a weird one. Yeah, I don't want to dwell on mine too much. Being the lowest performer. Not me. How's but it feel? New Andy. It was so good to finally <laughs> give something back it to just riles me up, doesn't it? It's, uh, <laughs> it's so good to give something back it's to you. It's not about that. I didn't care. No, about mate, about I did. <laughs> you should do. Me, I did. It's well, not going to do that. But anyway, where have I drawn? I've drawn 11. You had a right section, haven't you? Bagger was on In the 9, peaks. was he? Yeah, Bagger was on 9. Steve Emery on 10. Amazing. Me, Sam Collett, Mikey Williams. Mike was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, but it, every section's like that in that yeah. match. It's ridiculous, isn't it? But I was dead happy there to begin with. I mean, because it's still deep. It's still 10 foot, 12 foot, 12 foot Yeah. on my long line. And it plums up the nicest I've ever plumbed up at Medlands. It's oh, just, just like, nice, there's it? no steep drop off. It's just, Lovely. you can pick what you it's want good. and you know your bait's going to stay there. So it was lovely, um, dead dead simple. Top gear, short, and there, fish to win in it. Yeah, do you know what I mean no fannying about? We plan was to fish pellets long, pellets short, with some casters and a tocket line. And I went on the it and never got a bite, which was dead weird. And it was dead deep. It was like it was that. And I thought I'll go in there and catch a roach, and it never moved. I was like, all oh, right, that's weird. Mm -hmm. But then I've gone long and I've had ten pound in first hour. Like I've had two of them, and I've just caught these like nice and lovely. But then the winds just got more and more and more and more. And then it went tits up. An hour and a quarter in, I'm like, I could hold it, but it's just messy, isn't it? Yeah. You, you sort of lose track of where your bait is. I wasn't aggressive enough. I didn't catty enough. And I should have. But it's hard because the wind's like, it's left to right, but it's at me a bit as well. Right, okay. So it's dead awkward. It and I'm fishing to my left to get into this white bit. Yeah. It's, it's just Do awkward. Do you find that there's so few times you could actually hold your pole and catty because it was I literally strong. couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't. And I couldn't up... put it in a bar because I'm at an angle and weird. It right, was just okay, yeah. awkward. But it's my own fault. But I had to fish there to see me flow. Yeah. But it's so mad at Medlands as well, isn't it? If you can't put your rigging right, yeah. And nine times out of ten, the right way of putting it in is uh, up toe. Yeah. But you have to flick it out as yeah. well because it's always going away from you. You buy it's a instant yeah. Armor. If you can't do that with your rig and put it in in a line, yeah. Put it in properly so your baits to the. Do you know what I mean? Coming in, you do not get a bite. No, it's weird. It doesn't move, does it? If you try to put it in in a heap or put it in the wrong way, or mm. you do not get a bite. And I'm proper struggling with a gram and a half. I'm like, you know what I mean? To, I can't get it past. I've got 14 and a half meters to fish 13. So I'm like, ship it now, putting it in, coming back, feeding me bait, right, all that okay. sort of stuff. It was just yeah, fiddly. Yeah. yeah. And I was a bell end and I got off my box and went to my van and got a rod. And I shouldn't have ever done that. Well, it's one of them. So I had one cast on a method. Yeah. Give myself a bollock in, threw it back up, and then went on my short line. <laughs> Just caught some roach, fanny, I caught nothing mid-match. I probably caught like three pound in two hours. Right, okay. So that's what's cost me. And then I've gone short 90 minutes, an hour to go. And I've caught one that big and an odd roach. And I'm thinking, this is all right, this is good rev. So I've got dead aggressive loads of casters. And I've caught a few roach and I thought, no, it's not working. So I've big potted it with a ball of pellets like that. we crush it. And then I went straight on it and caught three bream straight oh, away. Goodness. This is right, with like okay. 40 minutes to go. I've got three bream straight away on my bait. I'm like, fuck that, we're good. And then I've caught two more down my peg, a metre down my peg. Is that the, where the toe was going? Right down my yeah, peg. Yeah. I've caught, no, it took a while, but then I caught two more. So I fed again, thinking, get them back on my bait. And I did that and it fucked it. It got carp on my peg. Oh, yeah, yeah, so for 20 minutes, I caught five carp. Oh, right. But I should have. 10 minutes to go, I've dropped back. I didn't put it on my bait. I put it a metre down my peg, just put it in there. And I've had four in the last 10 minutes, oh, like a pound and a half each. I was like, why didn't you just do that? So it's didn't more, me, I didn't. Yeah, but, yeah, it's more stuff in the, in the bank how, and all that. How good a venue it is. The, Amazing. Even, oh. Obviously, the top five, anyone knows. Could have, what, what did you end up like? 30 pound. 30, 31 pound nine, odd. I would last in frame 10th. So tenth. anyone in that top 10 is going away thinking, I could have won that match. Yeah. Oh, they're about one, but 100% could have come fair. Yeah. They'll be feeling. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes, possibly could have won, but they'll all yeah, be what, thinking what, I could have had 36. Yeah, six pounds. Yeah, it's not, it's getting a little bit in the mid match. <clears throat> it's nothing. Right. A Medlin six pound could be. Three fish. Two skimmers, isn't it? Realistically, three, 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 three isn't it? Three good uns. Yeah. yeah. There's not many three pounders, is no, there? That's it. Yeah. Three good uns and you've got six pounds. And yeah, but it's yeah. such a good place, isn't it? Oh, look. It, it's phenomenal. It's, like, it's, in, it's different band. as well. I think that's been the nice with both. Coopers, because it was a new venue, no one had really fished it. Unknown, yeah. yeah. And Medlands now, because we've 
between us, we've not fished it in that type of venue. Yeah, but we've still it's just fished it. We haven't fished it ten times between it's us. It's just interesting, isn't it? Every time you go, yeah, and different. But... It's amazing. At least I didn't have a knob to fish to this time. <laughs> no knobs. You, yeah, you vastly, <laughs> vastly improved on your last performance. Yeah, I've left, I've left the knobs alone this time, but no, it was. Yeah. It's was good. It's so amazing. Andrew is now. He has took over my 100, place. Hundred percent record. Hundred percent record. Two out of two, or three out of three. Yeah, for twenty. Uh, don't include that bitch. I knew you'd throw that away as well. <laughs> but no, it is. You are now the Winter oh, Classic champion. Love Your it. name's like engraved on a trophy. I know, that's it forever. Re Richard Stern next time. Oh no, I've got to win yeah. it another time. And then win it again. Again. 2 2 2. Yeah. That's so what we're having two, two, and two, and then we'll go all three, 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 and then no, just carry on. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'm getting worse. I'm, I'll be sixth next year, and then yeah, no, all down. Yeah, you're, yeah. Cool. You're, you're back so. on Warren next year, but now phenomenal event. Yeah, it is the best event of the really well done. Yeah, Gaz it. Rogers, what a job he's done, and obviously the sponsorship this year from Sandra Holt. Oh Hunt, yeah, yeah, uh, Bresbet, uh, and who else? Who just them two? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Probably good as well, that golf club that they had breakfast at, that was very nice. Oh, yeah, the uh, Buffy's run Stone was amazing Beat. at the end. Oh, my days. When you said, come here, I was thinking, like, I want another one of these, I want another one. Yeah. And you went and got one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did, what was it, day. Stony Deer Park? Yeah, golf yeah. club. It is. It's the best event by a billion mile in the water, oh, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, ridiculous. I fished out one, sounds good. 100 pound of bream to catch. Yes. That sounds good. But now, for the scale that Gaz will do yeah. it on. Mega. And the accumulation of named anglers. Ridiculous, wasn't it? The only time right, that's was, ever been emulated is... There, wasn't there? Who was, oh, at least. It, it was only Will that was missing, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. It's just a yeah. joke. Yeah. Yeah, he can The Drennan that. Knockout Cup didn't have that many names in. It was just... Yeah, Will, if you're watching Stairway, mate, you wouldn't like it. Too far. Yeah, too far. Too far. <laughs> don't, let, don't let Will push that. <laughs> Will and oh, yeah. that, wouldn't he? Yeah. Please don't come and upset us on that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so what an event and can't wait to do it next year. No, Champ. absolutely. Get <laughs> Still catch some fish. <laughs>